بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته as a reminder to myself and my brothers and sisters I wanted to remind and wish to be reminded the importance of coming back to Allah subhanahu wa taala and seeking forgiveness and if we seek forgiveness for sins that we committed that those that seeking forgiveness of course is an expiation for our sins it removes our sins and something that is very practical and illustrates the practicality of Islam listen to this hadith of the Prophet to get insight to what I'm uh, talking about. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, مَا مِنْ عَبْدٍ يُذْنِبُوا ذَنْبًا فَيُحْسِنُوا طُهُورٍ ثُمَّ يُقُمْ فَيُسَلِّي رَكَتَيْنٍ ثُمَّ يَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ إِلَّا غَفَرَ اللَّهُ لَهُ And this is a hadith that is in uh, collected in Abu Dawood, wa Tirmidhi, wa Sahahu, Imam al Albani. In this hadith, the Prophet wasallam said, There isn't a servant that commits a sin and then he purifies himself, meaning the spiritual pur uh, purification, which is uh, through Tahara or purifying oneself by making wudu and then standing for the prayer yuqum for yusalli rakatain and then they stand for two prayer units of uh, prayer and what is relevant and worth pointing out here is the prophet sallallahu said thumma yuqumu for yusalli then they stand they they establish the prayer and we talked about this uh, previously that praying and establishing the prayer are different in that just praying means you you did the act of ibadah okay and you may or may not have fulfilled all of its conditions or all of its uh, pillars and so on and so forth or you may not have uh, fulfill them correctly. But when you yuqum, you qimu salat, or to qimu salat, when you really establish the prayer, that means you have done the shurut, the conditions, that means you have, uh, you know, you have that, that sincerity, that ikhlas, and all of the pillars, you, you establish the prayer properly in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So the one who does this, they, they make the wudu and then they establish two, uh, you know, perfect two uh, raka prayer, uh, prayer units. And then with this Allah and seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive them. So it shows us that if we establish the prayer, that we're really sincere, and we're not letting anything distract us, and we're trying to have khushur, you know, humility, and focus, and, and comfort in our movements, and not hurried, and not distracted, that this can be a source of forgiveness, and it's something simple that we all can do. So after you commit a sin, and that and this is not an encouragement to commit sins, but the reality is, is we all sin. As the Prophet ﷺ said, Kulu ibn Adam khatta wa khayra khatayina tawabun. That all the children of Adam, they sin. And the best of those who sin are those who repent. So with that being the case, that after you commit a sin, rush to make wudu and rush to establish the prayer. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.